It has been seven days since Trisha Badu and her co-worker fled Jasper in the middle of the night as wildfire pushed closer. I'm still processing things and still it's a lot of stress on everyone. We're kind of just taking it, I've still been planning an hour at a time. Like it's just been very like every day has felt like a year. Firefighters from Ontario have arrived to help fight the fire still burning around Jasper. But officials say all fires inside the town are out. And while some wildlife are returning, residents still do not know when they can. I mean, I'd like to know as soon as possible, just so we can get back to getting for normal, being normal. We are looking at a, at a stage re-entry. Um, it's going to take a, a bit of time, and especially in, in light of, um, of weather conditions. There has been criticism. More could have been done sooner to save the structures lost. In return, strong words from leaders. So not only was the fire moving with the wind, but the air in front of that fire was being preheated by that flying debris, making the fire go even faster. There is nothing any human on earth or any piece of equipment could have done standing in front of that wall of fire. But I reject entirely any suggestion that there is a failure here. Everyone got out of town, every resident, every visitor got out safely and most of our town is spared. In Hinton, where more evacuees are staying, donations are being collected. A way for evacuees to get help and for this evacuee to give it. We're just caring for one another right now and making sure everybody is safe and has what they need. Fire crews are keeping a close eye on Thursday's forecast, when it's expected to get drier and hotter. That could further fuel the fire and cause it to spread. Julia Wong, CBC News, Edmonton.